In this lesson, you'll learn how to work with Cutting Master 4. Cutting Master 4 is a software plugin that plugs into both Adobe Illustrator or Corel Draw. This allows designs you've created to be sent to your CE Lite. It is assumed at this point that your cutter is connected and ready to go. If you aren't sure, review the lesson on Cutting Master 4 Setup. Also, while we will be demonstrating in Adobe Illustrator, the same steps can be applied to Corel Draw. Here we have a simple design within Adobe Illustrator that we want to cut on heat transfer material. To do this, first open Cutting Master 4 by clicking the File pull-down menu, hover the mouse over Cutting Master 4, and then select Cut Plot. This opens the Cut Plot window. Here there are a number of settings related to cutting that can be adjusted, but in this lesson we will cover just a few. First, you'll notice the settings on the left. Any changes made to the settings here will be reflected in this space over here. The space to the right represents the design in relation to the media. First, let's adjust the media size up at the top. Currently, it is set to a roll, but what we really want is for the media size to match the actual media loaded in the cutter. If we click on this button, this will obtain the actual size from the CE Lite cutter and set the values here. It will readjust the size of the media on the right side in relation to the design. Thus, as you can see, the design has gotten larger because the media has gotten smaller. This is what you want since it will allow you to see how the design will cut on your currently loaded media to make sure it will fit. If we click this button, we are given a choice of four angles to rotate the design to. In this case, we can set it at a horizontal angle so that it saves space on the media. The next button is for mirroring the design, which in this case is needed since the transfer material we are cutting requires it. There are other basic options to take advantage of. For instance, you can set the number of copies, along with the spacing between the copies. Toward the top are these tabs. If you click on this fourth tab over, this has the option Weed Border. When enabled, it will automatically place a rectangle cut line around the design, making it easier to weed the design after it has been cut. Then the margin, the distance between the design and the weed border, can be increased. Finally, to send the design to be cut, just click on the Send button toward the lower right corner of the cut plot window. When clicked, it quickly prepares the design for cutting and then sends the design to the cutter. And here are the results. But let's return to the cut plot window to go over one other option. There may be times where you may want to cut a portion of the design. If so, simply return to Adobe Illustrator and here you can select the portion you want to cut. Return to Cutting Master 4, and as you can see, it will only cut those selected objects. The reason for this is the Selection Only box, which when enabled, will cut only what was selected within Adobe Illustrator or Corel Draw. If it is disabled, the full design appears. These are just a few of the options in Cutting Master 4 to get you started. 